If there was only one thing that you did in your restaurant to dramatically change the destiny, the future, the profits, the performance of your restaurant, what would that one thing be? We'll talk about it in a second. Hey everybody, Ryan Gronfin here, author, speaker, chef, restaurateur, and the founder of therestaurantboss.com as well as clickbacon.com. And I'm gonna do a book report. Let's call it a book report, right? Books all restaurant owners need to read. And this week, I'm gonna be talking about a book called The One Thing. I read this book a couple of months ago on a quick vacation and it was fantastic. I love reading business books and I'm gonna make a more conscious effort to try to every couple of weeks to do a report on a book that you should read. So. The One Thing by Gary Keller, uh, you can see an image of it on the screen right now, is not a restaurant book by any means, it's just a great business book. And the idea behind The One Thing, I'm gonna explain to you here in one second, it's obviously like The One Thing, but he doesn't tell you what that one thing is, that one thing is different for everybody. But I wanna share a story from the book that I love sharing with clients and I love this analogy and it'll get you thinking about maybe what that one thing is for you. But more importantly, a lot of times the one thing that we think is usually five or six steps down the road. See, the important part is that the one thing is all the way at the beginning of the process. Think of it like dominoes, that when you do this one thing, all the other dominoes fall down. All your other goals are met, right? Look at me, like, a, like at a beauty pageant. So anyway, so here's the example I wanna give, okay. So we're talking about dominoes, right? Some studies were done just for fun, I guess. I don't know, people get bored, scientists get bored, they do scientific things. One of the scientific things that they did was figure out how much weight or size can a domino knock over. And ultimately, for all intent and purposes, they determined that a domino can knock over another domino approximately 50% larger than the original domino. So if your first domino is two inches, then it can knock over a three inch domino. Three inch domino can knock over a four and a half inch domino, four and a half inch domino, six inch domino, six inch domino, nine inch domino, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. That's where my math ends. You're getting the point, but check this out. 10 dominoes in, we can knock over someone who's six feet tall. That's me. So the 10th domino, imagine that you've played dominoes at home. You set up like a hundred dominoes and knocked them over. But if you kept getting them bigger and bigger by the 10th domino, you can knock over a person. By the 23rd domino, we can knock over a domino the size of the Eiffel Tower. By the 31st domino, we can knock over a domino bigger than Mount Everest. Mount Everest is the highest peak on earth, 3,000 feet bigger than Mount Everest by the 31st domino. How many dominoes do you think it would take to knock over a domino that would bridge earth to the moon? 51 dominoes, that's it, 51 dominoes. We've all done dominoes at home and set up more than 51. So here's the thing, to get that massive result by the 51st domino, imagine if you're working on something in your business that's step number 20. Think about how much effort it takes you because step, what was it, like 23 was the Eiffel Tower. You're working on a massive project to try to get the domino that goes from the earth to the moon, when in reality, if we started back at number one, we're only working on a domino this big. So what's something in your restaurant, something small, but impactful, something that if you worked on this one thing, if you spent a year, how dare I say, if you spent a year working on one thing in your business, how good would you get at that one thing? And how much of a difference would it make in everything else? Client after client after client is complaining to me, and I don't blame them. With good right, staff is hard to find right now. I get it. But we're working on all these other things. Maybe, just maybe, again, I don't know. I don't know the answer to your problems. I'm just throwing this out there. Maybe if you put together the most amazing onboarding, hiring, training system. If you spent a year in every free moment worrying about nothing but figuring out a way to find, interview, recruit, hire, train, onboard, and hold your employees accountable and develop them into amazing employees, I have a feeling that a lot of your other problems would go away. 
I don't think you'd have to worry about marketing because your employees would be so good, people would want to come back. I don't think you'd have to worry about marketing because your food would be so good, people would want to come back. Your restrooms would be so clean. Your restaurant would be so clean. Everything would be working so well if you had that amazing staff. But a lot of times we're working in the middle. We're trying to train our staff right now. We're trying to put systems in place, but we've never figured out how to find the right people and onboard them and train them and get them to the point where they're awesome, right? So maybe, just maybe, the things you're working on are in the middle of the domino. Anyways, that's just one chapter of an incredible book called The One Thing by Gary Keller. Go and read it. It's phenomenal. I think you're going to love it. I love reading books. I love growing. I love attending seminars. I love coaching other people and I love being coached myself. If you're interested in some help, if you want some more book ideas, comment below. Maybe if you want a little bit of help one-on-one, send me a message, comment below, get in touch with me somehow. But anyways, I think the key to most people's success is going to be always growing, always improving, always getting ideas from other people, from people who've maybe been down the road that you've been down. Anyways, phenomenal book, Gary Keller, The One Thing. Check it out. It's been Ryan Gronfman with The Restaurant Boss. I look forward to bringing you another great training video just like this next week. Have a great one. I want to thank you for watching that video. If you can do me three really quick favors right now, very quick. The first is if you haven't already, will you subscribe to this channel? In a moment, some things are going to pop up on your screen, some buttons, and one of those buttons is going to be subscribe. So whether you're watching this on my channel or on YouTube or on your phone, just stick around for one second and you're going to see a big subscribe button. If you haven't already, could you please subscribe? Two. If you haven't liked this video, will you go ahead and click the like button? Actually, don't just click it. Will you smash that like button and tell the world that you really enjoy this? Because the way that I can continue to bring you all this great free training is for my message to expand for more restaurant owners and future restaurant owners around the world to be watching this. And so the way to do that is to like my video. So again, if you're watching on YouTube, there'll be a place for you to like it. Or if you're back on my website, there'll be a place for you to like that. So smash that like button for me. And then also, could you leave a comment? Ask me a question. I reply to all my comments as fast as I can, usually within about 24 hours. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer. But go ahead and ask me a question. Leave me a comment. Tell me you love the video. Tell me you'd like to see something else in a video. If you need more detail on a certain area, I can film other videos about that. But if you can go ahead in a couple seconds now, it's going to come out. If you can subscribe, like, and comment, that would be great. Also, there'll be a spot in, the, in this little button coming out in a few seconds where you can download something for free. I'm always rotating that. So take a look at that, some free tools. But if you're new to my channel, if you've never seen my videos before, There'll also be a spot for you to watch a video that'll kind of introduce you to what I do here at the Restaurant Boss and at clickbacon.com and tell you about what we do and how you can get more involved and how you can get more free stuff and all that. So the buttons should be coming in by now. Go ahead and click on those and have an absolutely wonderful day. Thank you so much.